So part of the point of the East End Jam project is that it works anywhere that a, you know pretty much any environment that you walk through you're going to find Mahonia is going to be planted on pretty much every estate uh, in London. Any park or patch of ground that you come across is going to be edible so just if you look at the ground beneath your feet there's a dandelion this is like a carpet of dandelion and dandelion leaves I wouldn't eat these without a really good wash because I know there's a lot of dog shit in this park. <laughs> we might not see any right here, right now, but still I would always, always in a park or somewhere like this where there are a lot of dogs, I'd always wash everything before eating. Uh, but dandelion's great. It's a really tasty, slightly bitter salad leaf. The younger the leaves are, the better, but it's really good for your digestive system. It generates bile, which helps you to digest. So quite a few nutritionists recommend that you eat things, bitter things, dandelion leaves especially kind of after you've eaten a big meal, it can really help you to digest especially kind of complex fatty foods. Um, we're going to walk along the hedgerow and as we go along I'm just going to flag up some of the stuff we see that's, that's edible. So if you want to follow me. woodland and stripping away whole plants especially things like wild garlic has become very fashionable and then they're selling them to restaurants because there's this kind of vogue for foraged food um, so the, the kind of pr conservation principles apply which is never strip a whole plant or single bush of all its fruit or all its flowers always leave some for other people always leave some for insects for birds for animals and other wildlife and just make sure that you're kind of being reasonable in what you're doing so that you're leaving something behind not only for other people but also so the plant can continue to survive because birds eating the berries and spreading the seeds are how the, the plants, uh, plant populations continue. Um, so yeah, it's a shame that that's started to happen. <coughs> Look at that. So this is going to be, <coughs> this would be an amazing Mahonia to come and harvest. I think these need a teeny bit longer, they're not quite right. <coughs> Sorry, pollen is getting some water. I've got some in my bag, thanks Sarah. Um, yeah, this would be, a, again, parks are a great place because you're away from roads and from traffic fumes and from things that kind of immediately pollute uh, the surface. <coughs> So you can try them if you want to. But yeah, except it won't. It won't be that. It won't be that, it'll be yeah, one of the... the yeah, yeah. No pressure, eh? Do one on camera first. Okay. I think my oil could be very slightly deeper. sort of built-in handle.
another one in and then I'm going to go see if anyone wants to come and 